welcome back to my channel. Today I am just gonna be focusing on an eye look and it is this eye look right here. If you wanna see how I went from this to this, then go ahead and keep on watching. <laughs> I think I did that wrong. If you wanna see how I went from this to this, then keep on watching. Yeah, I did that backwards. Today, this is what I'm using. This is the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. And today's look is going to be something that I posted on my Instagram. And a lot of you guys asked for me to film it, so here I am filming it. I went ahead and zoomed y'all in so you could focus on just my eyes because that is all that we are going to be doing today. I do already have my face done. The first step that we're going to do is we're going to lay that transition shade. I'm using the Sephora brush. It is the Pro Tapered Crease Brush. We're gonna go into this shade right here. For this eye look, blending is very, 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 very important. You wanna make sure that all of our colors are seamless. So I'm gonna be focusing a lot of time on blending. <laughs> the next step I'm going to do is take my Morphe M441 brush. And we are going to start darkening up the crease a little bit. So we're going to blend these two shades. And make sure you tap off the excess. Then I'm gonna go back to that bigger Sephora brush, make sure there's nothing on it, and really just blend this out. I'm gonna go back in with the Morphe M441 brush, and I'm gonna start using our colors. So we're gonna go into this shade right here. Make sure you really tap off the excess. You do not wanna go in with all that powder right on that brush. That would be a big mess. I'm gonna use that Sephora brush again. I'm gonna make sure that we have all of those harsh lines completely gone and blended. Time to switch up brushes. We're now gonna take the Morphe M433 brush. This is what it looks like. We're gonna use this to take a darker color. We're gonna go into this shade right here. So I'm staying right by the airport. I'm in Chicago. And there's a plane landing. Yay. We're gonna put this just right in the crease. We're not going to blend it up where we put those other colors. We're gonna start doing that gradient effect and just keep it right in that crease. And I'm using a very, very light hand, hardly touching the eye. Continuing to use the M433 brush that we were just using, it's time to darken it up a little more. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. So now that we're getting to darker colors, you really wanna make sure you don't put too much product on that brush and go straight in. That's going to completely ruin your look. So get a little bit on your brush and tap off a lot and start to go in very lightly.
time for the lid. So I don't use a brush for this part, I just use my finger. But I'm gonna go in and take this shade right here. I'm gonna go in with this color right here. We're just gonna pack that a little bit right in the center. Oh my gosh, it just started snowing. Look. Oh, it's April. <laughs> Why is it snowing? Since my fingers can't get right into the corner right there, I'm gonna take a smaller Morphe brush and I'm going to go ahead and dip that with water and go back in with that red shade and just put it on the brush. That way I can go ahead and get the corners a little better. Taking my M438 brush and just going to dust off the powder that did fall while we were doing the eyes. Now it's time for eyeliner and I am still really enjoying this Wet n Wild. It's the Pro Line Felt Tip Liner. Filming and doing eyeliner is tricky, so just bear with me. <laughs> Did a little baby wing. I'm gonna go ahead and do my left eye off camera. I have my eyeliner done. Did a little baby wing. <laughs> Sass it up a bit. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the bottom. I'm taking a flat definer brush by Morphe. Looks like this. And I'm going to take these two shades. I'm just gonna blend them together lightly. We're just gonna smudge that right down below. We're gonna go ahead and get a darker shade in there too. I don't know why I keep saying we. <laughs> we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear all the planes in the background, but there's tons taking off. Even though my plane ended up canceling, which is why I had time to film, because originally this layover was supposed to be short. But I got a few extra hours now. So I got to film. Uh-uh. Whenever I am back at base in Jersey, I live like right in the city, so the street noise is so loud. There are cars honking out all the time, all hours of the day, oh my gosh. So it's hard for me to film there because I feel like the background noise is just gonna be way too loud and too constant. So I like to wait till I'm on layovers, but then it, sometimes my layovers are too short and I can't film. Now I'm taking my E18, it is a pencil brush. And I'm gonna go back up into this transition shade. We're gonna use this one right here. We're gonna use that to help blend out the bottom lash line. I'm gonna do my brows off camera. Now that my brows are on, I'm going to take this smaller Morphe brush and I'm going to take the two lightest shades in the palette. It's gonna be these two shades. I'm gonna mix those together and put those underneath the brow bone so that way I can brighten it up a little bit. I'm also gonna go ahead and put that on the inner corner. I'm gonna take that Sephora brush from the very beginning and just lightly blend that highlight and that transition shade together. I wanted to have different lashes by the time that I filmed this look, but I wasn't able to get to the store to buy any. I'm still using the Ardell Wispies. It is my last pair in the set using my holy grail. 
Ooh. Just gonna pop that on the lash line. Now that lashes are on and dry, we're gonna go ahead and curl them. For those of you that have asked me for an eyelash tutorial, I am still going to do that and I'm excited for it. I just don't know when I'm filming. Hopefully it'll be soon. Mascara today. This, this is my all time holy grail. I always end up going back to this. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. This has worked wonders for me for years. It'll always be my little baby. So good. Last and final step will be the lips. I'm using the CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte again. This is in shade Current Nude. This is what I used in my last video. I actually have been wearing this every single day that I've been working this week. This stuff stays and it is good. So now this look is complete. I think it's a lot of fun to play around with colors. I don't have many eyeshadow palettes that have tons of colors, but I do have the Jaclyn Hill palette. This has tons of colors. So if you wanna see me play around with this a little more, go ahead and ask. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see y'all again soon. Bye. <laughs>